Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one of my live videos and today I'm just going to be officially um, updating you on some more um, current um, latest news. A lot more things now is um, currently and now um, updated um, in the media and we know that Jose Mourinho is looking to address them defensive issues and he's um, also looking to uh, strengthen uh, attackively uh, as well. And Jose Mourinho has got a lot of potential targets for January you know, um, or next summer. We could also see a few players um, leaving the January window as well and reportedly Mourinho's going to get around £100 million spending spree in January to spend on players. Reportedly, he's had discussions with us about Edward potentially getting um, some signings in. We know he's spent just under £400 million since he's come to the club. Um, he has purchased um, 11 uh, players in the process. And we know it hasn't been the same since Ferguson retired in 2013, you know, nearly three decades um, of success under Alex Ferguson. Since then, you know, in all the manager areas, we have spent... Um, we have spent um, quite a lot of money, you know, spent over a billion pounds, you know, basically on three managers we've had, to, you know, spent over a billion pounds, you know, basically on three managers. We've had three different managers um, with different styles of play and uh, different philosophies. We've seen players come in, you know, we've seen players leave and, you know, basically potentially, you know, under Louis van Gaal, he didn't have the right philosophy. Uh, David Moyes uh, didn't have the right stature because he didn't have a good pedigree. He only bought two players uh, when he came to the club, Louis van Gaal. When he kept 12 players, there's only half of them still at Manchester United now. Um, as I said, uh, potentially Mourinho's uh, money we've spent, you know, since Virgil retired basically hasn't worked out because we haven't been as competitive. We're 12 points behind top, we're 7 points behind top 4. But potentially Mourinho has got a lot of potential targets, you know, um, and someone else has been mentioned in the press have partly been interested in Toby Alderweireld, Harry Maguire. Um, you know, we've also the board and the owners are obviously considering uh, these players. You know, we've got a catalogue of players that are, players that are coming to end of the con deals. You know, they're focusing on getting these players um, new deals at um, Old Trafford. Uh, but we know, obviously, Mourinho's had quite a few disputes with the top players at the club. You know, some of the players are happy with Jose Mourinho's managerial style, um, his style of play. But the board are backing him. And he's, you know, he's convinced we can uh, potentially um, get the top four. But reportedly, according to the press, Manchester United are interested in, in, a, in a player called Everton Sars, Sowers or Sars, I can't fully pronounce his name. Reportedly, um, he plays. He's, he made his international um, debut um, uh, quite a few months ago. Um, he's made two appearances for Brazil. So he plays for Brazil and he plays um, as a forward for Grimero. Reportedly, Man United are interested in him. He said Manchester City were interested in him. Uh, reportedly, um, he can play the middle. He can play um, on the wing um, as well. I've never heard of the player, to be quite fair, but it's in the press. Uh, reportedly, he can play for the middle. He can play on the wing as well. He wasn't up the ranks uh, with Grimero. Um, and he's been in the senior team um, since like 2014. He's gone to make make um, over a, a century um, a, appearances um, as a player. Man United have been uh, watching him in action. I think uh, you know see how he's uh, currently uh, progressing um, and that. But reportedly, the player uh, Man United will potentially want to uh, weigh up and move for like 30 million pounds to the player. Uh, but reportedly. Uh, he has a release clause because he has a con he has a new contract reportedly. He has a release clause of around sixty uh, million pounds um, does the player. But reportedly Man United have um, been interested in him. I can't really describe much of him because I've basically never ever watched him. Um, it's just done a couple of media outlets that Man United are interested in this Grimero striker, uh, Everton Sars. Um, that's what he's basically um his current um, name is um is the players. But he's Reportedly, he's been he's be he's stood out uh, fantastically well uh, for Brazil. Um, he's only made uh, two appearances uh, for Brazil. He made his international debut. Um, but reportedly, he stands out for Brazil. Um, does the player um, according um, to the media? So reportedly, you know, he can play as a forward apparently. So do you think he'd lead the lines uh, fantastically well for Manchester United if he was uh, potentially to come? Um, but like I said, um, I potentially never never um heard um of the player. Um. I've never ever heard of him, you know, basically, because we've got, you know, as wingers, Marshall and Rashford, who, you know, mainly play on that wing. You know, they've been playing in the central position, you know, to fulfil Lukaku's spot lately, because Lukaku hasn't been in great form. Sorry about that, guys, because Lukaku hasn't been in great form lately. You know, last season he was in fantastic form. Lukaku, we know, is well proven in the Premier League. Everyone talks about him being a big game bottler. Everyone talks about his first touch, which is uh, not uh, very, very good. Um, but we've got Marshall and Rashford who mainly play on that left, you know, when Lukaku's uh, playing. And um, 
for me, uh, you know, there's been reports coming out as well, uh, reportedly about Memphis Depay. Reportedly, he's doing very, very well for Leon since he's gone to Leon. Reportedly, Man United fans uh, want to see Memphis Depay come back to Old Trafford. Uh, Memphis Depay, who I did like the play. I liked his style of play. He got, you know, he was he, by France football. He was one of the best young players. Champs. He was one of the best young players in the world. Um, he won in in the world. Um, was Memphis Depay. I think he only scored four goals when he was at Manchester United, but reportedly there's a lot of Man United fans demanding uh, for Jose Mourinho to activate um, his buyback clause, to activate his buyback clause, because I think he was at Manchester United a couple of years, uh, was Memphis Depay. I did really, really like him, but he didn't really, really make an impact to the player. Um, potentially, Depay is a very, very good player. You know, he's, He was very, very good during his uh, PS. I'd like him potentially back. You know, He's very, very good in his PSV days. Um, you know, you know, in his PS3 days, you know, he scored 50 goals in 124 games. Then in 2014-15, you know, he was basically, basically PSV's top scorer and, you know, won the title with PSV, you know, and then basically came to Manchester United. Didn't really make an impact um, under Louis van Gaal and United. Um, did remember to buy. Now he's at Leon. Um, I think he's been at Leon. We paid £25 million for him, for him from PSV. Now he's at Leon. I think he's been there a couple of years now or so. His his performances are very very good. Um, with Leon, he's very very. He's, the performances are very very good for Leon. Uh, reporter. Um, I think this season, in France, you know he's out of thirteen games, he scored five goals, sixty five, and he's had thirty four shots as a Memphis Depay. But he can uh, he can uh, play on the wing. Uh, that's where his main role is. Um, is the wing is a uh, Memphis Depay. He's, um. Yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of Manchester United fans that potentially want him back. Um, he's potentially a number seven, but obviously we've got a number seven, which is Alexis Sanchez, but he isn't really making an impact. Um, at Old Trafford um, is Alexis Sanchez. You know, we've only had him since January, so he could be gone uh, within um, the next uh, 12 months. Um, could um, Alexis Sanchez um, from Old Trafford. Um, PSG have been linked to him. Could he go in January? Could he go next summer? PSG were linked to him last year. We know he's the highest player play on £500,000 a week. He's only scored four goals since he's come to the club um, as Alexis Sanchez. You know, he was very, very good in his Arsenal days. Um, very, very good during his underneath and Barcelona days. Um, but potentially, he's also represented he's been in discussions with Real Madrid uh, about him potentially making a move there. But he's, I, I don't think he's happy. He's not getting along with a lot of the teammates. He is uh, Sanchez. He doesn't like Mourinho's managerial style. He doesn't like um, his tactics um, as well. And um, I just think Sanchez uh, feels... Um, Unsettled um, um, at Manchester United, and that's is um, a shame to see because we've basically um, only had him since January, um, as I said. Um, but potentially, you've got um, Anthony Martial there, who's been, to be quite fair, he's been fantastic this season. Reportedly, he currently turned down the previous offer. Man United representatives have been in talks about securing him a new con a contract. Reportedly, Martial was on the brink of signing a 45 million annual salary year deal plus a five-year contract to Anthony Martial because I think Mourinho wants to stay at Old Trafford. Um, I think, you know, from his own perspective, he wants to stay at Old Trafford because um, he's a great, great young um, age talent. But, you know, these players, you know, especially that Mourinho's bought, will, you know, will Mourinho be able to get it right? You know, will we be able to well, you know, will we be able to get ourselves a challenging team again, competing for titles? And, you know, a lot of these players that are here, you know, especially the players that Mourinho's bought, wants to be up there competing um, for titles because this squad is potentially good enough to at least finish um, in the top four. Um, potentially, we have got the squad. It's just that um, potentially they're not gelling properly together. Mourinho's making um, the wrong decisions, um, as we all know. And it's since Ferguson, we haven't, you know, been... Um, a competitive um, side, um, as we all know. Um, but um, potentially, you know, as I've been um, updating you, you know, there's a lot of players um, coming to the end of the deals. Um, as I did give you um, an update on De Gea, um, De Gea still hasn't signed this new contract extension yet. The press have reported these representatives have been discussions of securing him this new contract extension at Man United. Um, he's he's one player of the year four out of his four out of their five seasons as David De Gea is potentially the best goalkeeper in the world. It has been here since the third year ever since um two thousand and eleven as uh, David De Gea as well. Uh, Mourinho uh, he was up the ranks Atletico Madrid. Mourinho has said. He said quite a few weeks ago he's not too confident that uh, David De Gea is going to sign his contract extension. Obviously, 
David De Gea is, you know, obviously maybe unhappy with Mourinho. He's probably he's, he's unhappy the way the team are performing, you know, especially um, this season. Uh, he's noticed a lack of ambition from the side. You know, we've conceded 21 goals in our first 12 Premier League games. Um, but potentially at the moment, David De Gea is nowhere near close to uh, agreeing this new contract extension uh, with Man United because he basically wants to be up there competing, challenging for silverware, as Mourinho admitted quite a few weeks ago, Man United have to spend, you know, to be up there competing and, to, you know, to especially compete um, with the European uh, teams as well. Uh, we know it was a disappointing summer window. We only got Doyle in, who hasn't participated that much this season. He's been injured recently in Valencia. Um, hasn't played a lot. Fred, for me, should be given more game time, especially, you know, um, in that midfield because we paid £50 million pounds for him. Um, Marie, for me, the players are unhappy with Mourinho as well due to with his reluctance to drop Nemanja Matic. We know Mourinho does have a good relationship um, with uh, Nemanja Matic, um, as we um, all currently know, because um, he works for him now at United. He works for him during his uh, Chelsea days, but he hasn't been good um, this season um, as um, Nemanja Matic. Um, We've got a lot, a lot of players um, coming to end their deals and reportedly um, Damien, uh, potentially Jose Mourinho is looking to sanction Eric Bailey off of Marcus Rojo because he basically wants um, a strong centre half in. Um, it has come out in the press basically, you know, that um, Mourinho has been linked with Toby Alderweireld. He was linked to him during the course of the summer. Alderweireld has been at Tottenham like, is this third or fourth season now with Tottenham? Um, He's also been at Southampton in the past and supposed to, play, supposed to be very, very good defender. He can play as a centre-back. I think he can play as a full-back as well, as I said. So he's proven in the Premier League. You know, do you think he'd complement um, our defence well, uh, Toby Alderweireld, if he was to come at Man United? Um, I think Victor Lindelof has improved this season, um, as I said. You know, he's very, very improved this season, to be quite fair, as um, Victor Lindelof. You know, he wasn't so good there last season. Mourinho paid £30 million for him from Benfica, so he wasn't that good last season, Victor Lindelof. But I think he's improved his season, to be quite fair. Bailey, as I said, can't get into the team this season, especially. You know, it's been Lindelof and Small in them that have been participating um, as two centre-backs. Um, but potentially, Alderweireld, you know, he's had experience of being in Spain with Atletico Madrid, where he won. He's where he won title in his first season um, with Atletico Madrid and got to the final. And um, also, um, he won, he was in the ranks of Ajax and won three titles um, with Ajax as well. So he has been in the Premier League now uh, quite a few years uh, as Toby Aldo. I think he's worth about 26 to £40 million. Pounds. And if Man United were willing to offer that, I think, you know, Tottenham would potentially um, consider it. Uh, Marina's also been interested in Man with who's just signed a new long term deal with Leicester. Um, Reportedly, um, he's also been interested in um, Atletico Madrid's Diego Gordon um, as well. Um, Diego Gordon is Atletico Madrid player. He's been in Spain quite a lot of years now. You know, he's been at Atletico Madrid about eight or nine seasons now as the player. Um, Diego Gordon. Um, reportedly, he can um, play as a centre back. Um, he can also. Uh, he's a centre back. He's a uh, Diego Gordon. I've never really w watched much of him. Um, Diego Gordon, guys. Um, to be quite honest, with you, he's also he's been at Villarreal in the past. Um, he's he's now at Atletico. He was Villarreal for like three years. He's um won seven titles. Um, has um Diego Gordon. Uh, reportedly Manchester United are potentially um interested. In, reportedly he does um have um a twenty five uh, million um release clause. Um, does the player. Um, he's currently um coming to the end of his uh, current contract. Um, at the end of the season. Um, is the uh, current uh, player um, as well, but reportedly Manchester United are also interested in him um, as well. So potentially Marina has got a lot of potential targets um, for the January uh, transfer window as well. Um, as I said, you know potentially Matteo Damian could go because he's only played once this season for Manchester United as a uh, Matteo Damian. There's a lot of Italian clubs interested in going for him. Mourinho said he wants him, you know, Matteo Damien to stay, you know, at least um, till um, the end of the season. Uh, he's the next Torino player. You know, he's been here like three or four years now at uh, Manchester United and he isn't getting the game. He isn't even getting into the starting eleven now um, under Jose Mourinho, you know, especially this season is Matteo Damien. So potentially he could leave the club um, as well. Um, could the player Marcus Rojo? So too, I don't think he's been the same player, you know, since he suffered that injury. You know, um, against Andalat's Marcus Rojo, so Mourinho's basically looking um, to sanction um, Marcus Rojo um, off um, as well. So potentially we'll just um, have to see um, who we uh, get in the uh, January uh, transfer window. Um,
we'll have to see um, who we get in the uh, January uh, transfer window as well. We still, we still got Valencia and Ashley Young to the end of their deals as well. Man United potentially in talks of securing them a uh, further one-year contract extensions at the club. They are 33 years of age. They have experienced um, the good times at uh, Manchester United. Have uh, Valencia and um, Ashley Young. You know, for me, Ashley Young's more of a right winner than a right back. Mourinho, you know, plays him at that right back position, um, as we um, all currently know. Um, but he, you know, he plays a right winner for England. You know, he potentially played as a right winner for his in his Aston Villa days as well. Um, so I still think Mourinho's playing plays slightly out of position. Valencia has experienced a great times as well. He's been here since like two thousand eight nine, so he has been at the club about nine or ten years. Um, as a uh, Anthony Antonio Valencia hasn't played for a while. Um, due to that, he suffered um, a mouth injury. Um, as a uh, Antonio uh, Valencia. Um, as well, potentially Ander Herrera as well in that midfield. Man United still in discussions of securing him a new deal. Um, Ander Herrera hasn't really been a regular from the start, you know, especially this season. Um, you know, he has made an impact, you know, because he has been making substitute appearances this season as Ander Herrera. You know, we got him from Athletic Club by 2014. He has been, I think this is his fifth season now with Manchester United is uh, Ander Herrera's. So potentially Man United are in talks of getting him a new deal um, at the club as well. Um, so we have got a lot of players um, coming to the, the end of the deals. Rob Mourinho hasn't got the good philosophy at Manchester United, you know, compared to Pep Guardiola's got a fantastic philosophy at um, Manchester City. He spent a billion pound all his managerial career. Manchester City at the top flying eye, you know, defensively fantastically well. But he spent more than half of that billion he spent in his career on Manchester City. Um, Pep Guardiola and his em- Pep Guardiola and he's emulated the football they did with Barcelona and by Munich, uh, Pep Guardiola. Um, same to Jürgen Klopp, he had a good pedigree with Dortmund. And since he's been at Liverpool, he's spent just under £400 million in six transfer windows. And defensively, Jürgen Klopp's got it right. Attackively, he's got it right. And um, yeah, Jürgen Klopp's doing a very, very good uh, job with Liverpool. But Mourinho, as I know, he's, he's got a fantastic pedigree. It's Jose Mourinho, he's won titles everywhere he's been. But, you know, he's proven in the Premier League. But... Um, Sorry about that, guys, but um, as I said, he just basically hasn't emulated the football um, that he did um, at that teams, and he hasn't done it at uh, Manchester United. I just don't think Mourinho's playing the United way, basically, you know, um, like um, Alex Ferguson did. Alex Ferguson was fantastic, great three decades success, you know, he got great players um, into the team. We had a great, fantastic legends like Carrick, you know, uh, Skulls, Giggs, Van Nistelrooy, Cantona, you know, Vidic, Ferdinand, they were fantastic sense. That partnership back in the day with Van der Sar as goalkeeper, Gary Neville, um, Ronaldo, Tevez, Berbatov. We had great, great players um, over the years, but obviously there were times under Fergie we didn't play well, but there was that fear factor there and we just managed to ground results out, late goals, great comebacks, as you've seen um, over the years with Alex Ferguson. Like back in 2013, you know, we won the league, you know, by 11 points. Basically, you know, we didn't play great football all season, but we had a great player in Van Persie, and you know, he scored 30 goals that season. And uh, potentially, we still won the title by 11 points, but it wasn't a um, great um, football. Um, as I um, said, but potentially the football is um, not good now, and something needs changes to that Manchester United team. The team selection needs to be right. Mourinho's philosophy definitely uh, needs to change at the club, reportedly. Manchester United have to get Champions League football this season. Uh, for next season and get top four this season or Mourinho's job will seriously, seriously, seriously under threat. You know, from now until Christmas, we don't really have a lot of difficult fixtures, um, as I said, but potentially the board are still having trustworthy Mourinho. They're still backing um, Jose uh, Mourinho. Um, as I uh, said, we've just got to accept we're never going to get a manager as comparable um, as what um, Alex Ferguson did and that's what we've just basically um, got to um, accept, guys. But if you've just tuned in, 
the latest news now, Mourinho's got another potential target on his radar. Uh, the current Everton Sawyers, uh, he's, he's called Everton Sawyers, he's Grimero striker, he's been in the senior team since 2014, he's made all central appearances. Reportedly, Man United want to get him for 30 million, as I said at the beginning of the video. And reportedly, he does have a 60 uh, million um, release clause, um, does the uh, current uh, player. Um, reportedly, he's made two... Uh, appearances for Brazil um, as the player. He can play in the middle, he can play on the wing, reportedly, um, according to the press. So reportedly, Man United are interested in the player. Um, recently signed a new contract um, as well, um, the player. Um, so anyway, guys, that's everything to update for today. If you do, consider drop a like on the video or subscribe, um, as always, and take care. God bless, guys. And when more things up there, I will be updating you. See you all again very, very soon. Take care. Bye.